Hello, this is Mike Lila, and today we're going to look at the installation of sample databases. Now, SQL Server, when it ships out of the box, is not a database. It is a database management system, so therefore it doesn't come with any real databases. Let's take a look at it real quick. So let's go ahead and go over to the uh, menu bar and click on the SQL Server Management Studio. So as you can see, here's your uh, server type, which is a database engine, and you're going to access the local uh, server by using a dot. And the authentication, of course, is uh, as we set it up as Windows authentication. Now, when you connect here, something's going to happen. Or I guess I should have said something's not going to happen. And in this case, you did not connect to your database. So you need to troubleshoot that. And uh, one possibility is that the database engine is not running. So what you want to do is you want to go back to your uh, menu bar and click on your best friend, which is a SQL Server configuration tool. So let's bring that up. Allow it. So as you can see, I've got my SQL Server Configuration Manager up, and I want to take a look at my database engine right here. It's the MSS SQL engine, and it stops. So what I want to do is start that. And your best friend, of course, is right-click. And so if you right-click on any one of these items, you get a whole list of menu items. And in this case, you can see I can start, stop, pause, resume, restart, and properties and help. So let's go ahead and start the server once again. And when the server starts up, we should be able to connect. And you can see we're running. So let's go back to our management system the SQL Server Management Studio. Let's click on that. And now let's click on Connect. And you can see indeed that we've connected to our local database system. So we're back in our uh, SQL Server Management Studio and I don't see my login icon anymore but all is not lost because you can see over here but you can see in our Object Explorer is a Connect button so let's go ahead and hit the Connect button. And I get my login screen back. Hooray! And there's my dot and let's connect. And I've connected to my uh, local database. And uh, just real quick here, uh, uh, one more thing I want to say about this. Let's disconnect real quick. And let's hit the connect button again. Not only can you connect to the local database using this login screen, but you can also connect to any database using this login screen. Just for these particular examples and for this development effort, working with the local database. Log back in. Okay, what I want to show you that actually, once again, this is a management software. It's not a database itself. So if you open this up, it only ships with four databases. And if you open these up, you're only going to see the master, the model, MSDB, uh, and TempDB. You really don't want to play a whole lot with these. We're going to actually be importing sample data that you can work with. So once again, kind of leave these alone as you do your development work. Uh, they're here for the SQL Server management system itself. They are essential to the whole system itself. For example, the master database tells us what exists in this instance of the SQL Server. The model database is the template for the new databases that you'll be creating. So later on in this course, we're actually going to be creating a number of databases. And this is the model that it's based upon. Once again, don't touch this either. The MSDB is for like uh, queuing and mails. And the TempDB is a scratch database for uh, the MySQL Server 2008. So once again, do not touch these databases. But besides that, there's nothing else here for you to work with as far as trial database or you haven't created a database yet. So actually, let's import some trial data. So let's import some trial data so we can actually start working with SQL Server. So going back to the lecture notes, I actually have two links here that you can actually use to import trial data. And these come from CodePlex. And you're going to use what's called an AdventureWorks. And it's going to give you thousands of lines of great data that you can use to work with and play around with the SQL Server system. So let's go ahead and download this. Let's go to sqlserversamples.codeplex.com and download the AdventureWorks databases. Let's open up your browser. So go ahead and type in sqlserversamplets.coplex.com right here, and let's go there. And this is actually a database source that was created by Microsoft a few years ago, and you can get some great database systems from it. And right here you can see you got the SQL uh, Server 2008 R2 product samples. Let's go ahead and the AdventureWork uh, sample databases you can download from here. Let's go ahead and download the AdventureWorks uh, sample databases. Let's click on this. And just download them, and then we're going to execute that and install them. Go ahead and look at the license. And if you agree with the license, go ahead and agree. And then your download should begin. We're going to save that file, and then we're going to execute it. OK, we've finished the download of the AdventureWorks uh, 2008. Let's go ahead and double click on that. And we're going to go through the install process. Go ahead and accept it. And it's going to start extracting the files. Now you're going to find this extremely useful. And there's other ways to generate dummy data. And we'll be going through that in this course. But the AdventureWorks are a great place to start. These databases are very good. One of the things you might notice is as these databases are being brought in, is that a number of them are using CSV or comma-separated value data. 
and you'll learn how to import comma separate value data into the SQL Server as well. Once the extraction is done, you're going to get another notice or uh, agreement that you need to agree upon if you're going to use these databases. And go ahead and go through that. And if you accept that, go ahead and hit the I accept and hit next. And after a short wait, you'll be brought to a screen, uh, AdventureWorks Community Sample Databases, where you'll be able to install those databases into, uh, into the SQL Server 2008. So go ahead and click on Install. I'm just going to, in a sense, unpack those and put those into your database. And now you're going to have a number of sample databases, good ones, that you can work with in your uh, management studio. So once the installation is complete, let's hit the Finish button. And let's go ahead and exit our database and restart it. Excuse me, I'm going to say our database management system. And let's go ahead and connect to our database management system. Go ahead and hit Connect. Open up databases. And when you do, you see a, a ton of new databases. The AdventureWork databases are right here. And in the next video, we're actually going to start working with the AdventureWork databases. If you open these up, you can see there's a number of uh, tabs here. Database diagrams, tables, views, uh, cinnamons, programmability, service brokers, storage, and security. So there's a lot to work with. And when you actually create um, your own databases from the model database that we discussed earlier, you'll be creating templates like this that you can actually build your own databases with. So there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that's an issue you might have with importing these databases into Vista. Depending on your operating system, your experience of the installation of SQL Server can be very different, and Vista can actually pose some problems as well. So in the next video, we're going to show you how to overcome at least one of the problems you might face when installing on Vista. Hey, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively, and I'll see you next time.